A walking mass of human hair gel is playing president again. California Gov Gavin Newsom shaking hands with Chinese President Xi while on a week-long tour of China. Newsom says he's trying to find common ground on climate change. Yeah, right. And says states have a duty to act on global warming. That's important. Even if the federal government does not. America's top foe giving greasy Gav a rousing welcome and even let him cruise around in a $160,000 Chinese EV. Don't run over protesters. This is a preview of things to come. Uh, and this we don't have yet in the United States. What I hear around the globe is, well, we, you're not a reliable partner in America. What happens if Trump gets back into office in a couple years? What happens if Biden loses? We can't, we can't rely on you. I want you to know you can rely on California. We're not going to move the needle on climate change unless the United States and China collaborate together. I wanted to substantively uh, work to advance that effort, and we did so uh, last few days. The Golden State's Michael Scott has made no secret he's gunning for the top job. Before his China excursion, Newsom was out in Israel and joked with reporters about the limited scope of the trip, telling them, quote, I wish I was the president of the United States. I could start doing all those things. Jesse, you know, Gavin reminds me of, he's like the guy at work who acts like he's your best pal, but then pitches your ideas to the boss when you're not around. Like me. Yes. <laughs> you are the Gavin Newsom of Fox. Oh, don't say that. That'll catch on. <laughs> that will catch on. The hair stuff, not that, will catch on. I, China is grooming Newsom. Mm. And Newsom is enjoying being groomed. Yes. Mm. This entire country has turned against the Chinese. And, and all of a sudden, Xi Jinping's like, you know what? I'm going to roll out the carpet for that guy. Mm. And what does that guy do? He goes up and he walks right down to the red carpet with a big smile on his face and shakes his hand. Mm -hmm. Nationally, this is political poison. Yep. Because even Democrats are China hawks now. The whole party, both parties are getting out of there. And this guy, he's a California guy, and he doesn't see it. He only sees EVs. Mm -hmm. He only sees tech. And huge economy in California. It's the only reason you're involved with China in the first place. So he just went there. He lapped it up. And he's pr it's a practice run. Mm -hmm. And he's doing it right in Joe's face. Yes. Though Joe probably doesn't know about it. Probably uh, not. I hear EV <laughs> stands for extra Vaseline when it comes to Gavin. <laughs> Um, he's not bothering to hide it anymore, Dana. He's out there. Yeah, and then uh, Daniel Turner, he's with this group Power the Future. Mm -hmm. He said that Gavin Newsom is willing to travel all the way to China to meet with communists, but he won't meet with California's fossil fuel workers who have lost their jobs due mm -hmm. to his policies. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're right on that. In terms of uh, Americans right now, well, 70% of them are willing to pay more for products that are not made in China. Mm -hmm. So read the room. I'm really looking forward to that Hannity debate between Hannity, um, excuse me, Newsom and DeSantis. The other thing was, he was bragging about how much time he's had with Xi Jinping, and then Biden was like, well, I've had time with Xi Jinping, too. I'm like, wait, why, why are you competing about who is more chummy with Xi Jinping? What did I miss? <laughs> yeah. Good point. Is it Xi Jinping? Xi? Oh, I said Xi. 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 Eh, who cares? Well, you know what? Who cares? It's <laughs> not right. like I'm going to meet him anytime soon. <laughs> Judge, uh, it's true. He can travel all over the world, but California is still a mess. <laughs> California is still a mess. More people are moving out of California than any other state. I mean, their, their homeless population is, is the highest in the country, and the drug overdoses are at an all-time high. Looting and robbery is running rampant, and even in the nicest towns, and people are getting their butts taxed. Mm -hmm. I mean, but nobody cares about that. This guy is either delusional or the smartest guy I've ever met. Mm -hmm. You see that photo right there? He's going to use that in his campaign. I don't know if he knows something about Joe that none of us know, but this is all preparing for what he wants to do. I mean, obviously, the guy wants to run for president. It, but, you know, I got to say one more thing. It's the, the, the Xi Jinping can buy you. You are so cheap. You were so cheap that you would sell American values and American workers and fossil fuels and factory workers to go over there so that you can look like a paid person, and I won't say what gender, to sit there with <laughs> Xi Jinping. That's well, what you he are. He bought off the Bidens. He probably thinks he could buy off Newsom, too. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Pierce, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. We got, we're on the verge of a war. Doesn't it seem a bit strange to be talking about global warming when the world's kind of on fire? Well, it does. But I think what is also strange as a part-time California resident is to see probably the wokest governor in the history of the United States mm -hmm. so brazenly and ecstatically sucking up 
<laughs> to the leader of communist China right. shows me that Newsom has the ruthless streak it needs to probably chuck Joe Biden under a bus. And there was a funny moment today, by contrast, if you're wondering whether Joe Biden even knows what's going on here. What is the most famous quote in the history of the United States, arguably? I'll suggest one. Neil Armstrong on the moon. Mm -hmm. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. There's not a human being alive mm -hmm. who doesn't know that quote. Joe Biden did that quote today when he's with the Australian Prime Minister because Australian engineers work, worked on the uh, lunar landing in 1968. Joe Biden stood there and he said, as the famous quote said, one small step for man, one small step, giant step for mankind. <laughs> he forgot the leap. Yeah. So uh, I think you're dealing with somebody who probably isn't even aware yeah. that Newsom is doing this. Newsom says, I wish I was president. He's obviously going to run for president. If you're a Democrat, you you want him running for president. You don't want Biden. Yeah. I honestly think the only way, the only way Trump probably wins if he's the nominee, personally speaking, is if Biden's his opponent. Yeah, especially and if... if you get someone like Newsom, you're showing that ruthless streak now, he's half his age, he's got dynamism, he's got the charm, he comes on Fox, he's doing debates with DeSantis. You know, it, he should be the guy they put up, I think. Especially with Biden believing in the moon landing. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Didn't happen. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.